Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Mars Cosmetics Lip Mist Liquid Lipsticks. Now they offer a total of 8 shades. I have all the 8 shades with me. For foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to certified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right on the video. Let's quickly go over with the features of these lipsticks. Now it says that it is a smudge proof ultra pigmented lipstick, gives a smooth matte finish look, highly pigmented so it delivers a high pigmented color which lasts for hours. Now this is priced at 275 rupees for 4.5 ml of product and like I mentioned before they offer a total of 8 shades. So this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this transparent tube with this cute cap at the bottom you have the shade name and number and this is how the applicator looks like. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches.
all right so let's go over with the formula the pros and the cons now firstly consistency wise it is very very thin and liquidy and also it applies pretty smooth as well to get the full color payoff you will have to apply like a generous two or three layers to get the full opacity of these lipsticks and also to cover your full lips you will have to like double dip it now initially as soon as you apply it and if you do not press your lips together it will kind of look like a gloss however like in a few minutes itself it will look like a shiny creamy matte finish look wise now this does feel tacky initially as soon as you apply it and if you do press your lips together it will be tacky however if you wait for like a solid 10 to 15 minutes then the tackiness completely disappears Oh, and once it has completely set and dried down, it is pretty comfortable and moisturizing on the lips as well. This lipstick by no means is like a gloss. It's more like a lip stain or a lip tint. I kind of wish they marketed as that rather than a lip gloss. And this is the kind of formula where like the more you layer it up, more darker the tint is even after the lipstick comes off. Now, these are not completely transfer proof. Like for example, You see a little bit of the top layer has come off. However, this is the kind of formula where like initially as soon as you apply it, it will transfer. Like I will insert a video of what exactly I'm talking about. But then this has been on my lips for like about 15 to 20 minutes and it transfers pretty less compared to when I initially applied it. Now for the longevity of these lipsticks, it will depend on the shade and how much you layer these up as well. Now the reason I'm saying depending upon the shade is because the lighter shades it lasted on me for like only about three three or four hours because earlier when I was testing it I was doing like voiceovers so I was like talking a lot and it kind of like faded off quite a lot however if you do use like a darker shade it will last much more longer and if you have a heavy meal this is how it will look like and as you guys can see the tint is left on my lips but then the outer line is left and if you do press your lips together it will give you like a decent coverage of the original color the next point is that i do like the packaging it is pretty unique and cute as well and lastly for the removal of these lip stains Oh my God, I struggled with this because I used the darker shade and just for the swatches, I layered them really generously. And for the red shade, I struggled. I struggled a lot. Like I've never struggled like this before. I really regretted swatching the shade in between rather than doing the swatch like in the end. Like I will insert a video of how I was struggling just to remove it. And by the way, I was using the oil infused micellar water that did not work at all. All. I had to use the cleansing oil that I use for double cleansing and even that did not help like it did but not as much as I thought it would I even used a face wash it did not work at all like for example my fingers are still stained right now with that red lipstick so yeah for the removal you will have to use like an oil based product but then if you do layer it up expect to have a tint for a while and now for the fii there are two points the first point is that these are extremely bitter to taste now other lip tints like the romand one and the rare beauty lip oil as well they both have that slight bitterness to it taste wise this is extremely bitter and even right now it's been like 20 25 minutes since i've applied it it is still bitter so yeah it's extremely bitter to taste the second point is that if you're using the darker shades or if you're layering any other shade for that matter then you have to do it very precisely and properly the reason is because this will stain your skin so yeah make sure that you do apply it properly and lastly for the cons there is just one point and that is to do with the fact that there are no proper arm swatches available online which would have helped a consumer to pick and choose the right shade so overall in my personal opinion i do find these lipsticks to be like okay-ish the reason i'm saying that is because there is a lot of adjustments or work around for you to make this lipstick to work for you i do really actually like the idea behind this but then i feel like it kind of lacked somewhere in the finishing product or in the execution of it so yeah however if you're looking for like a liquid lipstick that will last really really long and if you're okay with the bitter taste of it because that lingers for a very very long time then this is a good product for you. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Mars Cosmetics Lip Mist Liquid Lipsticks and this finally wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will turn best for you as well as follow me on my socials which Nair on Instagram and Nishnair on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.